Here are the plexiglass plate for the uh, display. This is cut using a very fine circular saw and uh, I've mounted the uh, display itself on top of it right now and you can see when I remove it that I have uh, pre cut off these holes. This is where the uh, smoke from the smoke generator inside the uh, box I'm going to make will be coming out and as the smoke comes out it will uh, be pushed up on top of all of these and then it will hopefully flatten out and spread out through all of these small vents I've made on all of these uh, stands over here and there are four places where the smoke will be coming out. The next step is to uh, spray paint this uh, plexiglass plate using some yellow and some red to uh, make the illusion of uh, moving magma when the display is turned off. When there is light coming from below it should hopefully in itself give the correct colors but I'm going to paint it anyway just to uh, make it look good when it's also turned off. I'm going to show how I'm making the uh, lava for the Titan Forge miniatures painting contest for the large uh, display I'm building and uh, I've started by uh, casting two of these plates uh, in a plaster and uh, they are around 0 0.5 uh, centimeter thick and uh, to make these into uh, magma rocks or lava rocks I'm going to break these in small pieces and to do that I'm just using an old screwdriver or some other heavy tool that can uh, take a beating and uh, generally it's uh, pretty simple it's just doing this and let them break until you get until you get the pieces in the right size. I'm generally looking for pieces around this size, but you can use some smaller and larger ones if that's what you need. So uh, you need a mix a bit of everything. When this is done, I'm going to uh, put all of this on a large uh, box, and then I'm going to spray paint it all black, and uh, turn it around and spray paint the back side black too, and then they are actually ready to be glued onto the plexiglass plate. That's it, all broken up into smaller pieces and they actually turned out quite nice. They look uh, just like I had hoped for and I think it will be fairly easy to uh, create the illusion of small plates moving around on some hot magma with these. Just arrange them like this and then uh, make sure that I keep some of the small cracks in between them all or I can add the light that will shine out and give the illusion of uh, liquid lava and uh, I might even I might position some of them uh, on top of the others just to give the illusion that some of them are being pushed up and uh, the next step here is to spray paint all of these black on both sides and when that's done uh, they are actually ready to be mounted on the diorama when the diorama is built and these ones are mounted, I got this uh, effect texture from Vallejo for making volcanic and uh, lava textures. And I'm going to apply that on top of all of the ones that I use on the diorama. I really hope this will give a nice effect. haven't tried it before though, so uh, I'm just uh, hoping for the best. <laughs> 